students, we're going to talk about a really neat feature of Google Drawings that you can use in, when you're working with images. And it's called the Mask Image Tool. And we're going to talk about it right now. So here I have a Google Drawings uh, set up. And what I want to do now is I want to go to Insert. Right there where it says Insert. And then I'm going to roll down to where it says Image. I'm going to choose that. One of the great things about Google Drawings when you're inserting images is you have a couple different choices. You can either choose upload, and upload an image from your computer, or you can choose to upload an image from the cloud from your Google Drive account. You can click that button right there. Also, since this is Google and it's Google or Google Drawings, you can use an embedded search feature that's right there directly in Google Drawings. So I'm going to click right here. Uh, where it says search. <clears throat> so Mr. Metter is a big Georgia Bulldogs fan because that's where he went to school. So I'm going to click search right here and then I'm going to search for Georgia Bulldogs. Okay. So here I got some pictures. I'm going to pick my favorite picture of Uga, the Bulldog, the mascot for UGA, and I'm going to click select. Now, immediately I noticed that my picture is quite large, so you see how the tool changes when I go to the corner. It will change to sort of the two little arrows at a diagonal slant. That's the scale tool. You'll see um, you'll see those again when you use the crop tool. So I want you to pay close attention to this right here. It says crop image. I'm going to click on that. And when I hover over the corner, you'll see that slant, slanted diagonal tool again with the two arrows. And when I'm using the crop image button, rather than scaling the image, it will actually crop the image. So I've just now double clicked it and selected that and it cropped it and it made it just a little bit smaller. Okay. So that is how you can crop an image. Now, we were talking about the mask image tool. Well, that's very close to the crop image tool, which is right here. Now, if you pay attention, crop image is right here and that's how you can sort of uh, a little bit off of your image, and to the right of it, you can choose this where it says mask image. Mask image is really neat because it'll allow you to make a cutout shape around your, your picture. So I'm going to click right there, and then I'm going to choose shapes. And better loves George Bulldogs, he's going to choose the heart right here. So a little heart shape. But now I have my George Bulldog in this heart shape thing. But I've noticed right here that my bulldog is a little bit too small, so I'm going to scale him up. And you can play around with that too. See how I'm kind of scaling him up and moving him around to fit into the heart. Now if I double click on that, it'll keep my changes. And then I can scale that down and I might decide that, hey, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to select that and using control C on my keyboard, that's the keyboard command for copy. So I'm going to hit Control C, check. I'm going to go Control C, and then change the letter to Control V, which is paste. I can very quickly go a bunch of these hearts and have a whole bunch of these bulldog hearts all over my image. So it's very easy to quickly sort of make a bunch of really cool cutout image shapes. So how did I do that? Well, I used the tool right here next to crop image called the mask image tool. And I basically just copied and added a bunch more of these bulldogs. And I have this really cool kind of graphic thing going on right now where it's got all these bulldog hearts. And I might decide that I want to change my background here. Okay. So you can quickly get some really nice looking things going on here with the mask image tool right next to the crop 